Okay, I think we're live. I think we're live. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. So. We, were, we weren't sure we're live. Somehow, sometimes the, the Amazon stream just kind of doesn't happen right away. So now we know it works. We know it works. So thank you for joining. I'm Valerie and this is Mark. Hi. And we're at my home. And thanks for joining our live stream today. So um, if you haven't joined us before, thanks for joining. Uh, and uh, today we're going to talk about some of the cool tech we saw at CES this year. Uh, and um, if you're if not familiar with, with us, we're at my home. We do a lot of live streams here on Amazon. We talk about smart home, home tech. Sometimes we talk about kitchen stuff, coffee stuff. Um, but uh, we do a lot of videos here and uh, we do a lot of uh, smart home tech reviews. And so, Mark, why don't you show our storefront? Oh, the storefront. All right. Hold on one second. So you can see some of the other things we have here on Amazon. Okay. So this should be right here. Okay. There it is. So if, you, uh, if you're if you watching us on Amazon Live, you might see a little thing that says, uh, view my storefront. And if you go there, you can see a lot of the different stuff that we have here on Amazon. You can see, actually, you can see us talking there live in a window. <laughs> uh, you can also see a lot of the videos that we do for products that we review here and uh, idea lists. And that's where you'll see all of the products that we're talking about today and some of the other stuff from other live streams. So this is what we're going to be talking about. So we go to CES every year, the Consumer Electronics Show down in Las Vegas. Um, and we love to check out all of the cool home tech and uh we're still kind of sifting through all of the stuff we got to review. So we wanted to come back. We did one of these shows uh, back in February, and we want to come back today is the first day of March and show you some more of the stuff that we got at CES and including some updates on some stuff we showed in our original show. So well, let's see. What else did I miss, Mark? Did I miss anything? Well, I think we, we got to help, help to follow. Let's All see. right, so if this is your first time joining, again, thank you so much for joining us. Please go ahead and type any questions you have here in the chat. I'll be monitoring it here. And um, if this is your first time, again, following us, we'd appreciate it if you follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. Just click that follow button. And uh, if you're watching us here on Amazon Live, you'll see the carousel is either going to be under, under you or on the side. And that's where I'll highlight the different products that we're going to talk about. And, you know, if you see those products and you want to go ahead and buy them, you can click on them and just add them right to your cart, which is kind of cool. So we're going to start, uh, we're going to start talking about a backpack. A backpack. A so, backpack. You know, it's funny. We go to a CES every year and it's like we, we kind of sort of skip the Targus booth because we don't think it's smart home, you know. But then we start realizing, you know, a lot of gear we have to have and take around with us. And so uh, Targus sent us their 40th anniversary backpack and it's what's the eco thing right it's eco smart or something how does how do they word it it's, but it's basically made out of recycled bottles yeah it's so, got 26 percent recycled water bottles made this backpack right where is it it's right there oh here it is hiding next to you what's what's amazing to me is this is target's 40th anniversary backpack they've been making computer backpacks for 40 years he even still has the tag because we just got it yesterday we just got it so yeah. Yep. So it says here, it says 40th anniversary limited edition established in 1983 eco smart technology. This is the 15.6 inch model. So I think it's, you've got a highlight in there, right? Yep. Um, yeah. So it's pretty cool. And uh, well, it's got a lot of compartments. So let's see what it has. Oh, let's it, has check out. it has this compartment. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. So the tag keeps dropping away here. Yeah. It's got a lot of nice things where you can put your. Put your stuff in there. They got a bunch of things for stuff. Oh, yeah, Wait. stuff. Things for stuff. Things for Compartments stuff. Compartments for stuff. Oh, this is kind of neat, actually, too. I don't know if you can see this. We should turn the overhead camera. Oh, that's it. Um, I don't know if you can see. Well, this is kind of hard to see, but it's neat. They have a whole bunch of different milestones here, for Targus can, in here. Maybe I can get stitched it right into the. Yeah. See, you can see it. Well, a little can, hard to see, but they're kind of uh, woven into the material, so it's kind of neat. Look what it's got. It's what? got the little hooky thing. I always want the hooky oh, thing when I travel. Oh, a hooky thing for your keys. Yep, it's always good when you travel. So they'll, you know, you put your keys in there. You to hold on to your backpack. A little bit of a compartment here. Nice. All right, so that's that one. 
Mm -hmm. This is nice and padded too. Yeah, it's huge padded. It's also got a zipper pocket here on the outside. Wow, there's another one. Pockets everywhere. And you know what's amazing about this thing is it's actually really light. Oh yeah, it's not, it doesn't weigh anything it's at all. hardly anything. This is a place to put your water bottle. And there's one on the other side, by the way. And there's two of those. Those are important. Now that's that compartment. And then, well, we probably should have taken a tag out of these things if you get in the way. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, you ready? Next, next compartment. All right, here we go. There we go. Next compartment. Anything in there? Nothing I can see. Oh, you, there's a padded spot in there. There's a padded spot where you can put your laptop. And another, another zippery thing. So you can put things in here. See, maybe you should turn the overhead camera. Yeah, it's a mesh. Yeah, let's the overhead do, camera on. Uh, let's do that. Let's see the overhead. Maybe it'll be easier to see. It'll be easier to see. Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, that's much easier to see. Why didn't you think of that before? Oh, I think I did. Why wasn't I listening? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so there's the compartment. And this is where it says that it's... No, it says 26 bottles. Look oh, here. Tw oh, I was wrong. I thought it was 26%. It's actually 26 plastic bottles. Yeah, it goes into it. Here, let me turn it side so you can see the, so they can read it. And uh, see, there you go. And um, it's got a zipper compartment. They're all nice. The zipper compartments are nice because they're uh, mesh, right? So if you had anything in there, it's a little damp or whatever, it would dry out. But that's a, that's a good sized compartment. Let's see, what else we got? Let's pull this close here. Wow. All right, let's see if we can do this so we can see. Another, yet another compartment. Well, this, right. and this one here has a well, padded guess thing too. I you have a bunch of, you and, have uh, multiple this, this laptops goes deep, if you want. So you go, see, oh, oh, it's got my hair. Oh, never mind, that's sorry. Ow. I thought there was something in there. I yeah, thought it was nice being eaten deep. by a groove. It's possible. Yeah, never this know. is super padded in the back too. Yeah. Well, that's because it's your back. Yeah, well. And you want it nice <laughs> on the back. So let's see. I'll make this closed. Now, look at the back. This is actually kind of interesting. You got the straps that are kind of cushioned. They're all nicely cushioned. Here we get a little bit more that way. Yeah, I remember I had a Targus backpack a long time ago, and it was one of the first ones that had these cushiony straps and it made a huge difference for carrying once was my really heavy laptop around and look what else it says here it says airflow well this is really nice because if you're ever worn a backpack for a long time you know that it can get kind of hot and then then there's the thing here that says 1983 on it and i don't know if well, you can see that a... but the cool thing is this thing fits over your roller board. So if you've got one of those rolling luggage racks with the, you know, the, the handle, you can put this over the handle and then... And then it sticks on there, sticks it doesn't there. slip off. So doesn't slip really... off, so pretty nice. It's pretty, really nicely done. It's got this nice little, this uh, hexagon little hexagon thing. Hexagon little display. And then uh, there's the front. Yeah, so there, that's it. It's pretty special, pretty special here. We get the, well, you can't see the tags it's up the down. the Cypress there, Collection. Let me do this so you can see the tag. So Cypress Collection, that's cool. And, oh, there's the 26 bottle. They keep reminding us about the 26 bottles. No, I think that's really neat. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty neat. It's light and everything. Um, here's all the specs on it. Tells you what's got it in there. And then uh, their, their other information, ergonomics and so forth. Yeah, so that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, this is really nice. I mean, this can carry, looks like you could carry your laptop, your you have a tablet, other stuff in there. There's a lot of really nice padded compartments, but it's not too heavy. So. Yeah, yeah I, I think I'm going to use it when we go to NAB. I think it'll be kind of nice. NAB. All right, so that's the... So that's it. This Targus, you know, and it's a unisex backpack. Frankly, I think it's maybe I thought a little it had my big name for on me, it. but it I think it? it's going to be yours, Mark. But um, but it is, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's very... Know what we're seeing. Hold on, let me put it forward again here. It is very... Um, it's very sleek. It's not too um, well. And the red highlights are kind of bulky. Neat. Like it's it's pretty. Highlights. I really yeah. like the red highlights actually. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So yeah. this is it. This is the Targus 40th anniversary computer backpack. Okay. Now we have the next thing to go. All through. right. So. All right. So the next thing the is next. a little larger. Well, I think maybe it's a little larger. It's a little bit different. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, we're Valerie and Mark, and we're at my home. And today we're doing a live stream on some of the tech that we discovered at this year's CES. And we're going to go on to this, the Caltech Wall Air. Can you see? Are you hiding behind that thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding behind it, I guess. Well, I think you're going to have to explain it, but basically this is the Caltech. And... 
it's an air purifier, right? Yes, this is an air purifier that you mount on your wall. Now, this doesn't have an app or anything. It's just a really uh, well-designed uh, and interesting technology for an air purifier. And it's but actually I'm... running right now. I have it live. Is it? Yeah, there's buttons on the side to turn it on and change mm, the fan speed. It's very quiet. Yeah, I have it on. It, it has an auto function, so the fan isn't in its full speed because there's... Our air is clean. Our air is right. clean up here. <laughs> so but to give you an idea, and this panel does pop off. I won't do it for the show, but basically it has, it says uh, power's on. There's an odor sensor. And he has a, uh, this, oh, this, here, the this here is the light thing. Yeah, we got a book on this. Don't yeah, you? they actually have really good documentation for this air well, purifier. There was a book on there. What did you do with it? We just were looking at it minutes ago. So this uses a really unique photocatalytic technology and uh, Caltech has a whole line of products that they've been introducing that that use this technology. Uh, last year we saw, um, we really liked this little bread box. We thought that was pretty cool. That was one of our favorite products from last year's CES. And we also have tested, and we showed on our last broadcast about CES actually, we talked about their, their My Air, which is a personal air purifier you can wear. But this is actually an air purifier for, for one room. You know what I'm doing? Are you taking out the filter? So there's the filter. Now the filter is kind of cool, right? Because what do they say that you can do? You take it out every every so often yeah. and just wash it or something. If you use an air purifier at your home, uh, you know we have a we have several different kinds at our house. They work great. Um, but one of the things that you're always doing is you're always changing the filter. Well, not always, but every so often you have to buy a new filter. For most of the ones we've used before, this one you just take out the photocatalytic filter and you clean it. And uh, they've got a really well. Like, I think is it clean it or it's, I well, you don't clean soak it. it in you water, soak right? it in water to clean it. That's cool. And depending on where you keep it and kind of how much, you know, how dirty your air is, uh, uh, you know, wherever you're using it, you might have to do that more or less often. Um, we're going to use this in our bedroom. Um, and it's meant to wall, hook onto the wall, so... It is meant to hook on the and mount on the wall, and it's got some really... Let me see if we can do this here. It's got... There you go. Mark's going to show you the back. Show you the back here. So, uh, and it has a little cable run, too. It's really kind of nice, actually. So, it, you can, when you put the cable on, it's good for the mount. So, the way it really mounts up is the back panel over here actually mounts to your wall, and then you just snap the the uh, unit, the air purifier, onto that onto that bracket. But for like us, where we're trying to walk around the house to see where we want to have it be the best, um, they also make a stand. And you can take the stand, and the stand then attaches to the plate that normally goes in the wall. You attach that plate onto the stand, and then you snap the thing on, and you're hooked up. So it's all it's a nice sturdy stand. With yeah, we cable do have runs. the stand here in the carousel as well. Yeah. So that stand is separate. We'll handle to hold it, which is kind of cool. And we've been using it on this stand because we're you know, kind of testing it out, seeing how it works in different rooms of our house. And once we get settled where we're going to put it, we're going to hang it on the wall. Hang it on the wall wherever we decide to put it. But yeah, it's not too heavy. It's fairly lightweight. And uh, so I'm not too worried about hanging on the wall. They actually give you these uh, little, basically, nails. They're like in a, in a rubber mount. It's kind of weird, like three nails. And you kind of push them in with a die or a quarter into the into your sheetrock and it's hold, held on. Yeah, it's so not pretty super heavy. Yeah. Not bad. So pretty it's, well done. It's Whisk. nice too. It's got this kind of nice angled cover, which gives it a little bit of style. Yeah, and it's thin. I mean, so take a look. I mean, it's yeah, not it's, real it's, thick, yeah. right? Forget the stand, right? Remember, just the just the, the black part and the white part. Yeah, so it's pretty thin. So yeah. it's not going to be real obnoxious on yeah, your so wall. So it's pretty small and doesn't weigh too much. It's a pretty nice unit. And they, like I said, they give you some really great documentation with this. So oh, they oh, have. I'm uh, put this down. <laughs> They have this n really nice uh, diagram where you should put it depending on what room you want and what kind of air problems you have. It's also supposed to be really good at, at taking care of odors, which is interesting. Well, you know, we can put it on the camera. I can make it, make it show. What are you going to make it show? I'm going to show down so you can you're show, gonna the, show the odors or are you going to show the picture? Show the, you can show your pictures. <laughs> I don't have any odors to show. <laughs> Anyway, but so it's nice. They give you some directions, like how you should set your sensor se sensitivity and your air and the and the fan. You can also put it on auto, and it will kind of figure out what you need. Um, and then, what we think is really interesting is that you don't have to buy new filters. You can really just you take out the filter inside, depending on uh, on uh, where you've got it located. Like for instance, 
if you've got it in the kitchen, uh, they recommend that you uh, clean your photocatalytic filter once every four months. And what you do is you just take it out and you soak it in water for about 10 hours, and then you let it dry, and then you put it back in, which is really nice. That's pretty neat. So you don't have to buy replacement filters. And what's this chart here? So this chart here, can you see it? I think you can see it. I'll hold, I'll hold it up while you talk about it. How's that? See? Well, I need to look at it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sorry, <laughs> this, guys. So we're going to switch to the front camera. We're Here going we go. to the front camera. So this is, uh, like I said, this is some unique uh, technology that Caltech is using in their air purification. And uh, what this does is it basically uses the LED lights to um, break down the odors and the harmful substances in the air. And then it just turns them into water and carbon dioxide. That's what they claim. That's what they claim. That's it's they claim. very quiet. Um, and it's not going to, you know, if you, so we have used some other air purifiers and they can get kind of loud, which is nice because you know they're working. Well, especially if you're cooking and you have it near the <laughs> cooking spot. Yeah, if you're cooking, they usually make a lot of noise. But so this is really nice. I think, you know, we're going to probably put this in our bedroom, uh, let it do things as it is quiet, at least, yeah, at least really in the quiet. mode it's in now where it's on auto, where it's not sensing a lot of particles in the air. Uh, and we have to run it through its paces. We just basically assembled it about a week or so ago. Yeah, so. we've been using it for about a week. Yep, yep. So that's it. That's, that's the, the Caltech Air that's with, it. you should show the stand. The Caltech so. Air Purifier with the stand. With the stand. So if you guys go there, you can click on that thing on the on the on the, your your screen. And it'll go right to the page, and you can order it right from there. No problem. And depending where you want to use it, you might want to keep it on the stand, or you might want to hang it on the wall. Yeah. So, it's so pretty cool. that is the Caltech Air Wall-mounted air purifier. So what's next? What is next? Let's see. Oh, okay. So we're going to go to the car now. Well, you want to go to that one or you want to go to the air pump first? Let's go to the air pump first. Okay. So Car and Driver is making some tech for your car. And we got an opportunity to take a look at that at CES. And we've been testing out a couple of their products as well. And this one is the, air, the tire inflator. There it is. So if you're just joining us, uh, we're talking about some tech we saw at CES this year and that we've been testing out here in our home. And uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and type them in the chat. And if this is your first time joining us, we'd appreciate it if you follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. So I like this one because um, this model here is a little more heavy duty than some other ones that we've we've seen, which are very good by the way, but it's all about how big the battery is and what you're trying to pump up. So it comes in this great little carry case uh, with a set of directions and some Velcro, believe it or not, to, if you want to stick it under your dash or whatever, you're going to have it. So. Yep, so this is a portable tire inflator. You can keep this in your car and in case you get a flat. Do you want me to go overhead? Yeah, let's do that. Overhead. Here we go. All right. So in case you get a flat, you can use this to pump up your tire and uh, you just basically you keep it charged. Yeah, yeah. Be careful what you're pressed oh. because it can get loud. Oh, I need to be. Let me, uh, let me do this. I'll put a picture of picture so you can see us. If that one there turns it on. Okay. There it is. Turns it on. Right, so it's blue, which means it's ready to go. And you've got all these modes on the uh, thing. So just don't press that one. <laughs> okay. All right. And if you press the round one here, you can switch modes. So if you look carefully, you may not see it, but basically there's like bicycle. What's the other one? Let's see what else we got. Bicycle, uh, motorbike, like scooter. A scooter. All right. Automobile. Car. And then ball. ball. So you can like a basketball or beach ball, whatever you want to do it. And then custom. Now let me explain the custom to you. So when you use this thing, and it comes with all the cables you need to charge it and all the little... Little all adapters the, all for the little different adapters things. For the different things like the needle one for the for the basketball and so forth, uh, but um, it comes with a little inflator and uh, doohickey. I guess it's a, it's a <laughs> technical term. Um, it would basically this thing just fits on top, and boom. So you put this on top, and then you put the tip in of the one you want. Now it just so happens if you look at this, it says. For the custom one, the little person, um, it says zero PSI, and you can change that, by the way, to other other measures, but basically PSI for us. Uh, and the battery's full, and it says 110 pounds, and that's because, uh, 110 PSI, that's because we have road bikes, and they have those skinny tires, and they take a lot of, a lot of pressure. So I actually pumped up the tires on uh, Valerie's bike the other day when she went out for a ride, and uh, 
it did great. It really worked well. So you just basically put this on with the right end on it. And this was, here's your, what do they call the Schrader valves? Something like that. They're the real skinny valves. That's what this tip here is. But you can take this off, put on the other tip for the different size uh, valves that you might have. And then, okay, hang on to your ears. Oh, this guy, you got to turn it on. <laughs> okay. So, yes, you hear that noise. Okay, it's the pump doing its thing. It's just like um, when you go to the gas station and pump up your tires. <laughs> right, but you can adjust this. You know, they got a plus and minus. You can change the pressure. And then the other cool thing they have is a light. So, let's see. I'll put my hand out front. So, you see oh, that? There's the see, light. See, the light. So, have you ever been, like, on the side of the road and you got to pump up your tire or whatever else? No problem. You got a light. You can even make the light blink for emergency reasons. Uh, but yeah, it's, so it's a nice LED light, and it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, this is really great to have in your car for emergencies. It's much better than having to drive to the gas station and pump up your tires. We just did that recently in the rain, in so the rain, yeah. it would have been much nicer to do it in the garage <laughs> with this thing. It's really nice. Um, great. Great product, really well designed. Yeah, really, really well. It's heavy duty. I wouldn't carry this probably in our saddlebag on our bikes, but it's a little heavy. For it's, that. A, it's very nice, very But it's very great nice. to have in the car. Okay, so I think we got that covered. Any Dang. questions on that, anybody? No? Okay. I don't so think we have any questions. Let right. me turn this off. Push this button. Don't here. push, don't turn it on. <sighs> I turned the right <laughs> one. Did the right one. So that is the car and driver portable tire inflator. Very nice. Oh, okay. USB A nailed to 10 volt. Oh, I'm going to show you that in a second. Where's Go back that? The other oh, way. I gotta, oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. All okay. right. So, next thing we're going to show you from Car and Driver is a dash cam. And this is the first time we've ever tried a dash cam. I see them a lot. A lot of people have them in the cars. We, we love our tech in our cars, but so far this is our first dash cam. Our first what? Dash cam. First dash cam. So, uh, oh, you're still putting that? Still putting this away. It just takes so much time to read. You know, did you remember, you know, trying to put things away and you never can figure out how it goes back in the box? Well, that looks pretty at this. easy, actually. This one here is a put them back in a boxer box. Obviously well designed in the box. <laughs> and I'll uh, we'll put that in here. I guess this goes over here. And boom, boom, boom. All right. And we're good. Okay. So that one's done. And now you're talking about the car driver. What is it? The road... Uh, what's it called? The Rode Dual View Dash Cam Driver Smart Alert System. All right, so let's take a look. Again, another thing of the mystery of how to open the box. Here we go. All right. No thanks. See, Car and Driver Road Patrol Touch Duo. And all that means is it's got two cameras. So it comes with a handy guide with who to call if you have issues, and including a business card. I, I get a kick out of that. Um, this is the dash cam. Right here, just one goes in your dashboard. So you can take a look at that. In there is a uh, micro USB card. I think it's 16 gigabytes. They give you that, so you don't have to worry about finding it. And so this is the camera. That's the camera, and then there's a mount that puts on your windshield. So that's what this thing here is. And some chargers. All right, and then in here is a box of stuff. So we're going to show that in a second here. All right. So remember, we're on the overhead camera. And okay. and this thing is going to be a box of stuff. And I'm not going to try to put it back in the box. We're done. Okay, so in here is a set of clips for putting in your, you know, like with a sticky thing. So you want to mount That's the wire because you're going to have to connect a wire to this thing to your uh, cigarette lighter. And then the other thing they give you is they give you this other camera. So oh, check it out. Two oh, two that's cameras. why it's called dual camera. Dual camera. Now, you have a choice. You can plug the dual camera. If you pull it apart, not that part, but let me show you. If you just take these two halves and pull them apart like this, you see it's a little pluggy thing? Oh. This will actually, so this is this little ga gadget here so you can put it on your seat rest, the ba back of your oh, headrest. Oh, so if you want to watch your baby in the yes, back or something like that. Yes, you can like do that, that with that. And then, otherwise, you plug it in here, you see. And you've got two cameras, and you can turn it around. So it's attached to this. So imagine That's this is on your dashboard. This is looking at the front window. And uh, yeah. That's looking back at you. It's looking back at you. Or you use that extension, and they give you a really long cord. You can either put it on your back in your uh, headrest, or you can put it all the way back in the back window. Oh, all the way back in the back window so you can see people, so you can coming, see by people coming by. Careful. That's neat. I didn't here. know that. Yeah, so they give you a second uh, 
thing for sticking it to the window because you might have it on the back window. And then they give you the cable. So this one's the power cable with a, this works for a cigarette lighter and it has a USB-A port in it. And then they give you another cable which is for uh, the short camera cable. So you can either use a long one to go from the from this camera to the add-on camera or this is the part, oh, they give you a little disc to mount things in the dashboard if you want to do that. And what else? Let's see. And holy cow! And this cable is the one that they give you that is really nice because it's really long. So it plugs in from the camera in the front to the to the camera in the back if that's how you decide to set it up. So quite a bit of gear comes with it. And um, I'm going to try to turn it on. Do we have time for me to turn this on? I think we do, don't we? Time is at 12:25. We're good. Okay, I'm going to take this stuff here. Toss it aside. Well, we don't have a car upstairs. But, but. I do have this little gadget, which oh. you can show them here. This is a USB-A to cigarette lighter. <laughs> so we don't care about the cigarettes part. We care about the 12-volt part. So I can plug this into a USB jack, which I have over here, and we can hook it up. So I'm going to take this. Yeah, so this adapter is just so that we can work on it here at our desk. Okay. Or if you don't have the right kind of... Or if you don't, you may not, you know, you're a newer car, some don't have cigarette lighters. Some just have a USB port. And this way, you can either, you know, get one of these, which will let you use this cable that comes with it, or get another, uh, you know, another cable, this is a uh, micro USB cable. Get a long micro USB cable as well, you could do that. Um, but basically, this plugs in in the bottom. Let's see. Well, actually, it's on the top. So let's see. USB, okay, somewhere here, it goes in here, boom, that's plugged in, and there's the uh, US, uh, the micro um, SD card, so he's already in oh, there. Oh, it's got an SD card in yeah, it too. Yeah, it's already in it, because they gave you that with it when you got it. And I'm going to plug this in, let's see if sparks fly or not, let's see, turn it around, and ta-da, it should be working. So, oh, I see the red light. The red light. And the you saw the car and driver turn on, right? So you see it's showing both cameras, right? And if you can see, hopefully you guys can see all this. Let me see. Does that help any, Valerie? Yeah. So, you know, you can see I can turn it around. You can see the picture in a picture, right? So imagine this is sitting on your dashboard, looking back. So one's looking forward, right? The other one's looking back, right? Picture in a picture. You can change modes for that as well. You can also, like this thing's recording, I don't know why it's recording, we'll turn off the recorder. Okay, Marco, let's see. Uh, it has a touch screen. Oops, and I just turned it off. Okay, that's good. It's supposed to turn off if I press the button. There we go. There you okay. Go. So, and then there's a whole bunch of settings you can put on this thing. So there's like a whole menu, you're not gonna be able to see them here, but you can make all sorts of adjustments. But what's cool about this thing is that it's supposed to like give you like lane departure warnings and things of that nature. I don't have it. I don't think I have it set on that right now. But basically, it'll show you kind of like the direction you're traveling in, and then if something gets in your field of view or you drift a lane or whatever else, it's supposed to send spot. you alert. And we tried that. It did. It did alert. Right. We got some some. Yeah, beeps. it did beep. But we that haven't kind of scared me. <laughs> we haven't studied it out enough yet. But it works really good. And it and it, like you saw the recorder was on. It'll record all sorts of stuff to that card. And uh, what I think is really cool, and you can turn off the second display. What I think is really cool is that the... Um, uh, Do you no, want to put brands, us back on the screen again? We're on the screen, see? Well, I know, but... We what do you mean that. large economy size? Us? Yeah. Okay. All right. Not picture in the picture. Okay. Um, the other thing is really cool about this thing is if your car is parked. Now, so what happens, the way this works is, and you saw it when I plugged it in. When you plug, when it's in your car and you start the engine... The, this comes on. When you turn it off, it waits a little while, I don't know how many seconds, but it waits so much time, and then it shuts off as well with your car. But if someone bumps your bumper, it's supposed to record. So it wakes itself up and does a recording. We haven't tried that, and I don't think we're gonna try it. So I mean, <laughs> I don't maybe, know I'll, maybe, I'll, hit the, maybe I'll hit the thing like this or something and do the test, but <laughs> it's supposed to do that. I think that's kind of cool, right? That is, it's a great feature. But it's very lightweight, and hooked it's, to the it's window. And it's got that SD card in there, so it's storing the recordings. Yes, so the recordings are storing the SD card. Now, it doesn't hook up to your phone or anything like that, so if you want to no look at app. the card, you got to pull the SD card out and plug it into your computer and, and to read it. So um, 
Yeah, so that's it. That's the whole thing. That's look at that cute. Yeah, it's, not it's really neat that it's got the two cameras too. Yeah, so that's it. That's the Car and Driver Road Patrol Touch Duo, right? The duo here. Dash cam. Dash cam. Yep. There you go. All right. We done with that one? We are done with okay, car and we're gonna driver, so we're going to move on. As you can see, we have a lot of things in the carousel today. Got a lot of stuff. So now we're going to move on to entertainment, and we're going to show you the Yabber Pico T1 projector. Now this thing is really neat. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah. it turned itself on. It, well, you unplugged it. I did. And it just like it works, like just like it to. does in the car. It turns itself off. Yep, it does its trick. Oh, all right. And if you're just joining us, we are showing off some of the tech we found at CES this year that we've been testing out and getting ready to review. And next is the Yabber. <gasps> the Yabber. Ooh, my the Yabber Pico T1 Mini Projector. Okay, now we've got a couple things here. And yeah. we have some extra cords, of course. Yeah. Okay, we keep talking. All right. So this is the Yabber. And it's got a really nice, a really nice case, really nice box in here. So this is a projector, and it's a 540p resolution projector, and it's only, it's a little bit more than a half inch thick. It's 0.52 inches thick. Turn the camera back on. Turn the camera on overhead. Here we go. All right. So here it is. This Move is the paper over. distracting me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff over here. So this is a projector. It comes in this little bag, and it's it's the, the bag is kind of handy. The, it's got a really nice case for it because this is obviously a portable projector. All right, so Look this is the, not the projector. This is the spare battery. Okay, let's take the battery out. So this is the, this is the they give you this battery. You need it because you remember it's they're portable here. So they give you this battery and uh, it has. A uh, micro, or not a micro, it has a USB C and a lightning connector on it, so you can plug in either way. And there's a cable. A cable here. This one here is a mini HDMI to uh, regular HDMI, so if you want to hook the thing up to your favorite, you know, uh, uh, you know like a fire stick or whatever else. Um, actually, not the fire stick, we're going to show you that in a second. Uh, so this is the projector. That's like crazy. Look at your phone. It's like the size of my phone. It's actually even maybe just a tiny little bit thicker than my phone with the case on it. It's crazy. But it's lighter. Yeah, when it's super light. No, there's no battery in it. Keep that in mind. There's no right? battery in it. That's part of the reason why it's so light. But it's amazing to me. This is a projector. Yeah, see the little, you can look on the top here. That's the screen right there. There's the screen. Right, little fan. And a little fan. And then control. And then it's the bottom. It's even got a little tiny speaker in it. HDMI, mini HDMI. They give you a plug here. So this is where USB-C. And then there's another USB-C for hooking up for data. So then there's a... You know, Comes with a little remote. Right up here. Yep. Ta -da. Okay, we're going to show that in a second. Oh. Someone's bugging you. Someone's calling me. You didn't go to, you didn't go do not disturb. I guess disturb. I don't have the do not disturb on. All right, so let's see. Can we move this over here? And they give you a little tripod. That magnetically Magnetic hooks on. Magnetic tripod. Right? Cool? Super cool. I'm going to turn this over here because I'm going to do something in a second here. There's and a plug. A pl power plug. So this is important here. So what are these other cables for? Now there are other connectors. So the USB C to USB C and USB C to Do USB, we USB A. We don't need them now. Okay. Uh, don't need them now. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So you basically take this and we're gonna plug it into the Yabber. It has to be fully charged. I think around gets down to around 70% of the battery, it won't run the won't run this thing. But no fear. The cables came with it. You just hook up this USB C power plug and cable it in, you'll be fine. So now it's running, it says 100%. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, we're still in the overhead, right? It's in 100%. And uh, it's there, and then I can just press this button here on the remote, and it should theoretically come on. Theoretically, it will come on. It didn't do it. Did you turn it on? I did turn it on. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. This is called a live demo. Do you have it plugged into the wrong thing? Hold on, let me see. Now we got the right thing. Sometimes these things are finicky. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Hmm. Well, that's weird. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it's not going. Well, so much for that demo. All right, so let's see. Let's plug it back in one more time. What I find is you have to plug this in 
when you want to go. Why don't you use the other cable? No. Let's see. What's the battery dead in this thing or something? Hmm. Well, anyway, okay, so I'm going to plug a different cable in here. Uh, why don't you give me the USB C to USB C? Which one? This one? Yep. I'll just plug it into power. Just plug it into power. You just have to trust me, it did work before the show. It works. <laughs> before the show, so. All right, all right, here we go. All right, plug that sucker in. Plug him in here. I'll plug this in instead. It's kind of weird that it didn't work. Okay, now we'll try this, see what happens. Well, you know what? Let's see. Oh, there it goes. That's interesting. I wonder why that. Motion the... detected at the doorbell. Oh, we were expecting a package today. I guess we got a package. We got a package. Got a little smart home telling us. So anyway, so yes, but normally, ooh, geez, I could turn this like this. Uh, normally this would work, and uh, it's uh, ooh, and so. <laughs> normally the battery up. works. Normally the battery works. Well, when we do our testing on this, we're going to find out what the story is. But <laughs> what I did is instead of using the remote, I turned it on with the power on the side. And I do remember, I think I turned it off by this thing here. I wonder if this has to be on for this to work. That could be what was the problem, Maybe. right? Okay, well, we're not going to debug it here. Um, let's see if I can show this thing here. Okay, good. So now we're going to have a little thing here since you guys want to see it, right? So imagine I'm holding this little guy like this. You see how small he is. And... It has a little focus wheel on it, so you can just take and focus it. Hopefully you guys can all see that. I don't well, know if I, it's, I, don't I don't know think you can come really out. see it. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, it has these different modes, right? So you can hook this up to HDMI, which we're going to show you in a second, uh, or screencast, or you can hook directly with a cable to the, to the thing, and it has all these settings you can set. But if you go to screencast, you'll see it says eShare, it's some custom thing they have. Uh, Android Wireless, AirPlay, so for us uh, iOS users, and then Apple Wired, so you can actually wire the, the, the unit directly to it, and then it will broadcast uh, onto the screen. Now, when you do AirPlay to it, it's only going to show you AirPlay and content you own. It's not going to show things like Hulu, Netflix, and things like that, because that's protected content, but there's a solution for that. Why don't you so, put it over there? Over here? Like here? Can you actually see it? See, it's awful. See it's awful. Well, you know what we can do? Let's see. In order for you to do that, i got to go do a bunch of things. Uh, let's see. Let me try to see if it focuses or not. You're a hunchy up in the ceiling. <laughs> good with the ceiling. You know what we're going to do? We're going to the ceiling. i got a really cool tech here. Um, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Can you see that on the ceiling? I don't know if I want to do this. No. Because I don't want to take that off this thing. Let's see. Can you see it in the ceiling? And let's see. Let me put that over here. All this tech. Clicking buttons everywhere. Alright, let's see. Oops. Alright, here we go. So <laughs> isn't this cool? So let's bring a MacBook Air online. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it, right? You want me to hold it? <laughs> well, I, I, I'll hold it. It's okay. But you can see it's on our ceiling, and you can see the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Then you can just adjust the the little wheel to get it focused, right? Yeah, but it is a really nice little projector uh, if you use it with a real screen. <laughs> yeah, it works out pretty well. Not in our studio. So not there on you go, our and ceiling. You, and did you notice the thing? It also does it. I, it does an automatic. Um, uh, squares up automatically. It, yeah, it squares itself up autommatically, and it does the <laughs> orientation automatically. I can't figure out what we're trying to do yeah, with it right so now. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So that shows you how that works. Now I got to go out there because this is kind of silly. Um, and we'll go back to us, and we'll, uh, we'll put this over here for a second. Put, put it back it on its little. And it's a little, little, don't point little it thing. at me. I'll put it down. Don't point it at me. Right, so we're going to point it down. <laughs> and what I want to show you, though, is the cool thing about this thing is that you can do something else. Like if you have to have an Amazon Fire Stick, which is the next thing in there. Oh, yep. Yep. So and, Mark was saying you can play content that you have on your phone that you own uh, or your own pictures and stuff like that. But if you want to play 
Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or any of those other streaming services, you need to have uh, something to plug in, like a Fire Stick. So, so this is the, the latest generation Fire Stick. This is a 4K Fire Stick. Another remote? With another remote that's probably bigger than And that's the, the Fire Stick, there's not much to it. Well, the remote's bigger than the Fire Stick. It comes with some cables and, uh, and a power adapter. It comes with a thing, so you don't have to worry about that. But I, uh, I don't need that because I have this cable over here already ready for us. So, one cable is I need to have this to power this stick up. So the stick has a, a regular HDMI connector on it. And you basically plug it in here like this. Now it's powered up. And then you can plug it into your Yabber, but you can't just do it exactly. You have to get this U green thing. It's the next thing on our list. This one here, you need one of these, right? It's called the U green mini HDMI. So it's female HDMI regular to mini HDMI. So you just basically plug it into the fire stick and then you plug the fire stick into the HDMI port of the projector. I'm going to get the orientation correct. And now what I can do <laughs> is go back to this thing here. All right. <laughs> go back to the go ceiling. Back to the ceiling. And let's see, HDMI. Okay, HDMI. Can everyone see that? If I if I go, I think you can, right? Yeah. You gotta put the screen back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Got it. All right, got it. Okay. So <laughs> you guys should be able to see that, and you notice what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the system, this right? This is the uh, Amazon Fire Stick interface here. Right. And now I can't actually show you everything on here because the um, <laughs> you know you're not supposed to project. So I can do it just for a second or two. But what I want to show you is. We're using the Fire Stick as the source, and it's looking great. And you can click on Hulu, right? And it'll bring up the <laughs> Hulu men menu. The Hulu. Right? It's Just funny. Like it's you... actually it's right side up on our ceiling, but it's upside down on the, on the thing. <laughs> oh, because the phone probably is upside down. Uh, I don't want to try to change that. Anyway, so, so uh, you should come back to uh, come back to our storefront, and you should look for our video on this because we're going to be doing a full review on it coming soon. And it'll be a lot easier to see <laughs> uh, oh, wait, the see. projector. But this is like an amazingly cool, tiny little projector. Uh, it's you know obviously if you want to watch Netflix in the desert, you're going to have to hook up something to to help you do that, and you probably need to have external power. Um, a battery is probably great if you're doing a presentation on the road or something like that, um, but it's definitely good to have backup power because uh, the battery doesn't doesn't last probably through a, you know a whole night of Netflix binge watching. But it is an amazing little projector. It comes in this really cool little case that you can't see because Mark's projecting the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> it comes in this really cool case. I think you can turn that off. Can I turn it off now? Yeah, okay. turn it off. There you, go. there you go. It's upside down. <laughs> Projecting it on our ceiling. Anyway, but this is a really neat case. It comes with a really See, substantial there's, there's battery. There's Disney. See, and they could press who's watching and everything else. It's all, all right, right there. Baby Yoda's there. Yep. There we go. All right. Okay. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much for following us. And definitely um, come back and watch our full review because I think this is a really cool projector. You're yeah, really it's, pretty, love it's it. pretty wild. All right, I'm going to turn off the projector, which I should be able to do with this remote. With the remote. So let's see. Does it work? Well, I just learned something. Oh, you're going to be down here. The desire. There we go. So <laughs> it worked with the remote. That one thing I forgot about, and maybe that's why it didn't work, is that you need to. Let me turn off the camera. Back the main camera. I forgot you you have to it's an IR remote and we're so used to the other ones you have to be behind the thing and point point at it and that's probably why it didn't turn on too yeah well hey what can we're I tell figuring you? this thing <laughs> so out, but it's, thing. it's really neat the Yabber Pico T1 projector it's so tiny comes in this great case and just remember if you want to watch Netflix and Hulu and other content like that you need to get some kind of get um, like the fire stick a fire Max. stick or a Chromecast or or your favorite uh, stick to, by the to way, get I'm, your content and apps on it. I'm pretty impressed with the, the Fire Stick Max. Was, we just got it like this week and it's like a, to play with this thing and it was like, 
hey, this works pretty good. Yeah, this is so really nice. What's, I, we're Apple TV people normally. So normally, but I... You I, could I, hook up your to, Apple TV to that, but it's not very portable. Well, and nice thing about the, um, the Fire Stick is it does get to the, your, you know, your Alexa. You know, the, the, I got one of those right here, see, like... I don't want to see it too loud, right. but you know, we have that and it gets that stuff. So let me right, put this over here. We got 15 here. minutes, Mark. We Ooh, got 15 yeah. minutes. Holy mackerel, we got to get moving. We got to move it, move it. Because we got some cool stuff We've coming up. We've got some cool stuff. So we're going to take a another tour and go turn and go back to our kind of our traditional smart home. So this is our bread and butter smart home stuff that we review here at my home. This is the Eufy Security S1. There what is it go. called? Wall light camera. It's the S100 wall light camera. And it's like, you go, well, look at this thing. Because it's got like this light here and light here and these lights twist. And you can actually change the color, which is really cool. And if you look at the base on this thing, it's a black base. You take the light you have next to your door off and then you wire this onto it. So it's really easy to do it. Uh, we did do a review on this so you'd be able to actually see how it all how it yeah. looks and everything else. But what I'm going to show you instead is the app. Yeah, so we saw this at CES and we were kind of puzzled when we looked at it. We're like, is it a light? Is it a camera? Is it for indoors? Is it for outdoors? And it's kind of all those things. And it's actually pretty neat. Uh, we just finished our review on it. And you can find that um, here on Amazon on our storefront. And Mark is going to show you the app. Now on we, my phone. We've been using a lot of Eufy cameras lately. We really like the fact that you don't need to have a separate cloud subscription for them. Um, they have really great uh, artificial intelligence features like human detection, vehicle detection, stuff like that. And no. this one does only does human detection. Well, this one only does human detection. I guess they don't think cars are going to be driving up to your wall late. <laughs> you know, I hope not. So... <laughs> The other thing is it has its own internal four gigabytes of storage for, for, for your, uh, your videos. Now, here it is. The top one is the, the bottom ones are our camera. So the bottom one, we have a Eufy a doorbell. doorbell. You heard that a few minutes ago. And, um, and then here is the, here is the look of the camera. So let's take a look here. So I'm going live to the camera that's sitting on our porch. And as you can see, you can see all the way up our courtyard and it's all right there. And it thing works looks fantastic. It's live right now. Um, and you can speak. It's got a microphone and a speaker and all that good stuff. But what's really kind of cool about it is you can actually set it so that it, like at night, it knows it's nighttime to a little light sensor on it. And you can say, hey, this is the color I'd like the light to be while nothing's happening. And then if I, you sense motion, you got two modes. You can have a mode that says any motion I want you to change the color of the light to something else. Or you can also say, oh, if it's motion and it's a person, then turn on the light to this color. And so, uh, and in all cases, it's recording. So you know, don't worry about that uh, when, when it sees a motion event. So now it's really neat because now you can walk, you get, have kind of like, we have our set to like a light blue or something at night, just, you know, a little mellow. Yeah, nice calm. Yeah, calm kind of thing. And then you walk up to this thing and all of a sudden, poof, the light, you know, senses you and it turns the white light, bright white light, that's the way I have it, so that the camera sees you in color and it records the color video, which yeah. is really kind of cool. It's really neat. It's a really neat camera. Really you cool. can adjust the lights and you can change the colors. Like Mark said, you can program it to do colors. It's going to be fun at Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and you can also, um, actually, if you go into the shop, we showed you at the beginning, um, I've actually got a, a, a video clip of the nighttime and the lights changing. There's a mode where you can actually set it to... Uh, you know, run through the colors. It's kind of a, like a party mode kind of thing. It's kind of kind of yeah, cool. That's really neat. So it's really kind of cool. All so right. That's well, it. speaking of cool lights. All right. What's? Oh, Sorry, I'm not sure about that. <gasps> Did Sorry, we Alexa. Say we are not talking to you. Name. We're not talking to you. <laughs> so I like how she just jumps in once in yeah, a while. Yeah, she just to dumps us. in. That's kind of funny. All okay, right. what are we doing next? We're doing twinkly dots. Ooh, dots. All right. Twinkly so, dots. Twinkly dots. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to bring this down too. Oh, we're we doing twinkly dots or we're we doing twinkly squares first? We can do anything we want. I think we should do the twinkly squares first. All right, we're going to do twinkly squares. So we saw twinkly at CES. They had a really cool booth. They had a live DJ there and he was had, they had the music going and all kinds of different uh, light shows with the, with the DJ. And it was pretty neat. And uh, we've been testing these out for a few weeks now. And we actually showed them on our first CES Live. Um, but now we've got them installed so we can kind of show you how they work. 
Yeah, that's that's the key. And um, let me get, bring this up now. The um, so this box is sort of empty because we've actually already installed the twinkly squares. But first, before we show you the thing on the wall, we want to take and show you what we got, which is a oh, twinkly squares add-on kit. This is the add-on kit. So the first one we got has six squares, right? Six squares. Six one squares. of which is the master square. You have to have a master square. So you got to get this first. And then this is the extension. So this gives you three more, three more. LED panels. And I don't suppose I that we can play. I don't with. know that I do the little thing where I cut the tape. I don't, I don't know. We just got this. There you do it. Okay, so there it is. Just the add-on kit. And nope, it's open. Here you go. And I think this will be worth coming to the other can other camera. Thing. Let's look at the overhead here. There you go. So these are LED, smart LED squares. Okay, so I've got the thing up there where we're kind of blocking a little bit of it. Which okay. one do I need to move? I need to move over here, like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. All right. So. so this is what they're actually kind of light when you take them out. They're little squares. You mount them up on the wall, you put them together, and you can make different patterns. And there's basically eight by eight LEDs. You're going to see that in a minute. So this one has three of them in here. Three guys. So let's put this over here, out of the way. And let's get this box out here. So this is the secret here now is that let me get two panels over here. Those are the connectors. Connectors. And the cables. So, Ooh, a lot of stuff going on here. Yep. So what I want to show you here before we do it is that the way these things work is they kind of snap together. There's these like little connector things here. There's two on each one. And the master panel, there's actually four. So there's one over here and here. And all you do to connect them together is you take these cables, they give you the cables, you plug the cable on here, snap it on. Let's see if I can do it. Snap it in like that, and then you take this other one and you put it nearby, so like here, you snap it together, and now you've got the cables here, and you can route the, they got places to route the cables so they don't look so messy. And then the other thing you got in your box is, are these things, these clips, and you basically take the clips, and I'll show you really fast because I want to get on this, showing them running, and you basically take these clips and you press them between, and they snap in, and then the whole thing holds together. So those are really important. Now, I'm not doing the whole thing because I got to run the cable, and I got to snap all the little snappy things in there. Well, but we got to show you. Show let's them show working. it working. Let's show it working. So I think that's the next thing. All right. So there's an app for it. We're not going to show you the app, but the app is cool. It just the app is cool. It's patterns. actually very powerful. We're still trying to figure it out. Okay. So I've got the the magic camera running here. All right, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna go on a little field trip, but before we do that, we're gonna show you the twinkly squares, then we're gonna show you the twinkly dots and twinkly music. Yeah, so, so do you think you're capable of driving this while I'm gone? I don't know, I mean, is that, do I have to answer anything? Cause that's... You better turn off the overhead camera too. Overhead camera? Oh, right, I'm going on a field trip. I'm gonna right, show you on. the Where twinkly you field... you squares. Where are you going on a field trip? What? Let's just show this because you need to carry Oh, I need to take trip. that with me, huh, from my field So trip. there's a thing called Twinkly Music. I'm going to go show you the dots first. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do that. You got it? I'm going to yeah. put you, uh, let me know when you're in position, and I'll make it happen. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there it is. That's the That's a Twinkly, twinkly dots. dots. And Valerie has a thing going from the app of her favorite animated GIF. Yeah, basically, yeah. I basically downloaded a little animated GIF from Giphy of a penguin. So I've got it here, and I've actually got it. This is with my Peloton bike. So I can have like some cool little des designs on there while I'm working out and I happen to like penguins. So here's my penguin. So right. that is pretty cool. And so it's mounted up. You can see it. The cord comes Up a little down. bit. We've got it Up. plugged in down there. Oh yeah, there. down there. You got it. Can you see it? And okay. then it's this one. This is the starter kit. So this is six of those panels all together. Right. And we're going to add three more on the side. So we can all do right. more things. Turn that camera off or something. All right. So let's, uh, Go back to we have us. A lot of stuff going on today. And Mark. then this is the Twinkly Music. It's a little USB stick. And what Valerie's going to do, if I don't sneeze first, the Twinkly Music works with the dots and the squares. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. Me. Sorry. And uh, I'm going to take this into Mark's is office. Is bu the button on? And we need to before you do anything, make sure the thing is set. Have you got it on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops. 
me get another thing real quick. And music. This is squares. I want dots. Okay, dots is going. All right. Okay, so um, now what's going to happen here, which is really cool, is you can play music and it listens to the music and then changes the lights. You know, kind of makes them all kind of cool. So it's really, it's really pretty neat. Now Valerie's in the office, my office right now, because I did, I took the dots, which are basically these long strings of little dot, you know, uh, LEDs basically that you can change color with. And what she's doing is, uh, I can't see anything. You got it facing down or? Yeah. All right. So she's going to show you what it looks like because I have the dots up in my office. All right, and let me know when you're ready. Are we ready? Can I switch it? Because I see the floor right now. All right, are you ready? She's got to turn the music on and, uh, okay. Can I do it now? All right, here we go. There you go. That's twinkly dots to the music. So that little stick, right? It's really cool. And I have the lights on that shelf, wrapped around the shelf, and then I wrapped the other, there's like two strings worth. I have the other one uh, wrapped under the desk and around the side. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's kind of light out, but you get the idea. It, it basically changes the pattern of those lights based on the sounds. I don't know if you can hear, I'm gonna stop talking. So that give you an idea of what it's like. So that's it. That's the that's the Twinkly Dots with Twinkly Music. And by the way, it works also with the squares. And you can actually pair them all together and have a whole light show. Well, I guess we're still doing things. Are you back to showing again? I think she likes doing it. It's a lot of fun. But I don't see anything on the screen, so we're not going to show anything here. All right. Okay. So, oops. Hey, Val, you're not showing anything, you know. So, so that's it. So, um, I don't know what happened. I, I couldn't see your, uh, couldn't see the the images at all. It, it stopped. Yeah. No. I we saw it at the beginning, but then that last part when I kept yelling to you is uh, basically because so. she had the music too loud. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. And um, yeah, you, you were must have been covering the lens or something because it was like all dark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, but you saw the whole thing. It was actually, no, it was spectacular. It was really cool. blinking really well. So, so these Twinklies are really neat. And uh, we're still getting to know them. The app is very powerful. And it's got, you can really be really creative. It's got some uh, things that are already preloaded in there. If, if you're very artistic, you can make your own designs. It's also got a really cool feature where if you've got a design, like on a wall or something, you can take a picture of it and it will map the pixels to it, so. Yeah, the mapping the pixel thing is fantastic. It's super cool. Um, it's but really cool. I think we should just, we're almost done. Yes, I think we should do a mellow real quick. <laughs> Our very so last very product last thing is totally different. I have a little speaker, but normally use headphones. All right, so where did it this go? Is, there it is. It's the Mophie Zen This is the Pebble. Morphe Zen Pebble. Now, pretend that I'm plugging in headphones. We've got a lot of mess here. Why don't you clean this stuff up? Well, because I don't want to place to put it. <laughs> so, so, what, so what this is, this is like kind of the anti-tech. Um, this is a little pebble device, and right now it's plugged into a speaker, but it's really meant to be used for headphones. This is a personal relaxation device. There's no screen, there's no Bluetooth, <laughs> there's this is really just for you to take with you and to help you relax. So if you need you know, maybe you want uh, some something to help you sleep. You want to do a guided meditation. This has got, I think, what has it got? 72 different sessions that are five minutes each. So you can bring this little Zen Pebble with you. It charges up, and so it, it's battery powered. It charges up. You can carry this. I mean, this is really easy to carry in your bag, your purse, your pocket. Super lightweight. It charges up with USB-C. They give you the charging cable, right? think so yeah yeah no, they give maybe it. the charging cable but so in order for us to show this to you we do have to plug it into a speaker because you don't have your headphones on for the live so we just got this little blue well this little regular speaker with a cord so it's on welcome to morphe zen to listen to your session 
Choose a theme. So there's different themes you can pick, like you just push the little buttons on the outside here. This is a sale. Five minute immersive journey number one. Ooh. The ocean. Oh, here's the ocean. Mm. Let's escape for a few minutes to an ocean beach. Now here's another one. Sound of nature number one. By the fireplace. Well, I feel relaxed already after all that music we were listening to. <laughs> now, what else is cool? I'll listen to that. That oh, does sound like go. a fireplace. Hey. Okay. Now, the other thing is you can change the language, which is it's cool. It's got four languages. It's got English, French, Italian, and Spanish, which is kind of neat. We've been uh, doing Duolingo and learning languages, so we can we can do a meditation in a different language if we want. And, and, the, and you know, the French guy is kind of soothing, right? Yeah, I think the, the French guy has a nice voice. Yeah. Um, anyway, but so this is really neat. Um, it's, it's totally, this is the anti-tech. This is screen-free connection free all you do is charge it up put plug in your headphones and you can get relaxed and of course you can also use it with a speaker but it does it doesn't use bluetooth so you need to plug well, i love that sound <laughs> you need to plug something in here either your headphones or a speaker so you can listen to it but it's really nice compact uh, kind of personal meditation device so that is the morphe zen pebble well, and that's geez. it that's how we it's ended up 501 I feel, yeah, we're, we're a minute or so over. We can go. <laughs> Let's do a quick recap of what we showed today. So we'll just do a quick recap. So uh, we are showing some of the tech that we saw at CES. And uh, so what we covered today, we covered a lot of stuff, really some different stuff. We showed the Targus uh, 40th anniversary computer backpack, which is really neat. And it's made, made out of 26 bottles. 26 plastic bottles they recycled to make that bag. Uh, that's a really neat really neat uh, backpack. We also showed the Caltech wall air purifier that use photo photocatalytic technology to clean your air and get the odors out of your house, out of your room anyway. Uh, and uh, you can either mount that on your wall or you can use it with the stand. We also showed two products, tech products from Car and Driver. Uh, we showed you the uh, dash cam, what is it, touch duo, what the is it road called? road duo. Camera, oh whatever. But it doesn't say anything. Road Patrol Dual Dash Cam. Dual Dash Cam. A lot of words, but basically you have two cameras for your car. Two cameras for your car, and it records if something happens, which is great. Then we showed you the Car and Driver Portable Tire Inflator. This is a really great device to carry around in your car for emergencies. It's got a light. It will pump up your tire, and you can also use it to pump up basketballs, your bike tires, your scooter tires, other stuff like that. And uh, we also had the cable in there in case you don't have a cigarette lighter in your car for that. Then we showed you the Yabber Pico T1 mini projector. This is a really tiny little projector, uh, super portable, so you can watch your favorite content on the go. And you can either watch stuff that you already have on your device, or you can plug it into something like an Amazon Fire TV stick. And yeah, uh, because it was a protected content, you have to. Yeah. So. And then we had a... You know, if you want to do that, you need to hook up a uh, mini HDMI to regular HDMI cable because the Yabber uses mini HDMI. Uh, we also showed you the Eufy security wall light camera, the S100. We really love this uh, wall light camera and uh, there's a review uh, of it uh, on our storefront you can find uh, if you're following us. And then we showed you the twinkly dots and the twinkly squares and the twinkly music. So these are really neat. You can uh, use these lights. They're smart lights. They work with all your favorite voice assistants. They have a really cool, very powerful app you can use. And if you use the Twinkly Music, uh, you can sync them to your favorite music. Or if you happen to be a gamer, you can sing it to the gameplay, right? You'll hear the, you'll That's hear true. the sounds. Whatever it hears. It's blasting away and the lights will splash. Including so. if you are just talking into it. It'll also sync it up with you. So if you want to have your lights go on while you're on conference calls, you could do that too, I guess. You could see if it gets loud and boisterous. <laughs> and last but not least, we showed you the Morphe Zen Pebble. This is a really neat little uh, kind of personal meditation device. It's got 72 pre-programmed sessions that you can use. You just plug in your headphones and you push the buttons and you've got a, a little meditation uh, stone right in your pocket. 
and doesn't need any tech. So there's no, no, no tech, phone no screen, there, no app, no nothing. You just, no subscription required. You just put, plug it, plug in your headphones and play away, play away, go right to sleep. If that's what you're looking for. <laughs> we or go. relax. I think we, uh, I think we're over. We are and, over uh, time. So thank you for staying with us. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I mean, we had a lot of products to go over different <laughs> types, but these are things we found at CES this year. And we wanted to bring them to you to see what they're like. And they're all available in the carousel here, uh, of course, on Amazon. Just click on it and go buy the product and you're all set. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining. And uh, thank you, Rachel, for following us. And if you haven't followed us yet, we'd appreciate it if you give us a follow. And you can find out the next time you do a live stream. And we've been doing Wednesdays at 4. Okay. Thank so you. So you can find us here. Thank you. Thank you.